Thank you for your interest in volunteering with Portage Township Schools. The old adage, it takes a village to raise a child, rings true, and we couldn't do what we do without the help of our many volunteers. This video will present valuable information that you will need before volunteering with us. Topics will include background checks, students' health, and safety, to name a few. Let's get started. Volunteering at Portage Township Schools is a great way for parents to play an active role in their child's education and is strongly encouraged by teachers and administrators throughout the district. In order to do this, all PTS volunteers must complete a background check once a year to ensure our children's safety and has to be completed prior to your participation in any kind of volunteer work in our schools. Accessing a background check is very simple. First start at the PTS webpage, which is www.portage.k12.in.us, and hover over the Parents tab located at the top of the page and click on Parent slash Volunteer Background Checks. You will be able to complete the background check required of you based on the type of volunteer you will be completing. There are two different types of background checks, a level 1 and a level 2, and you only need to fill out whichever one fits the circumstances you will be volunteering in. If you plan on volunteering with our students outside of the classroom, such as being a chaperone on a field trip, you will need a level one background check. This is completed through Safe Hiring Solutions LLC and costs $15.95. The second type is a level two background check through the Indiana State Police. This is a free background check and it is completed by volunteers who will be working inside of our buildings for events such as classroom parties. To apply for a level one background check, you can do this one of two ways. If you would like to complete your application online, click on the Safe Hiring Solutions link on our volunteer webpage. You will be directed to their website where you can complete your background check. Be ready to provide a valid email address and a credit or debit card number to pay for the background check. The second way to apply for a level one background check is here at the PTS Administration Building located on Highway 6 next to the high school. Be sure to bring a photo ID, such as a driver's license, and exact cash. All of our campuses are weapon-free and tobacco-free zones. Please do not smoke, vape, or chew tobacco while on our school grounds. When you visit our buildings, go to the main office and sign in. Our secretaries will ask to see a photo ID and give you a visitor's badge. This helps our faculty and staff members determine who is supposed to be in the building and who is not. If you are volunteering in one of our buildings and we are in a fire, tornado, or code red emergency, you must follow our one county, one protocol procedures. While volunteering, keep students in their assigned areas and make sure they are following all classroom and school rules. Never leave a student unsupervised and never allow a student to leave the building without signing out of the main office Talk to the classroom teacher if you have questions about our safety procedures. When our students come to school, they have a higher chance of achieving excellence. While volunteering with us, certain behaviors can help keep our students healthy and attending school. If you do not feel well on the day that you are supposed to volunteer, stay home. Germs spread quickly in any school building and keeping them out helps us reduce illness. Our students may be allergic to other products as well, such as certain medications and lotions. Some children do take medication while they are at school. However, they need to drop it off in the nurse's office with a doctor's notice. Keeping our students healthy is just another way to keep them safe. As a volunteer at Portage Township Schools, you have the opportunity to become an important part of our students' lives. Our children look up to the adults in our buildings and are influenced by their actions. Because our students are so impressionable, we hold our volunteers to the same ethical standards that we hold our teachers. Dress appropriately for the occasion. If you're going on a field trip, appropriate dress may involve shorts and gym shoes or maybe a heavy coat and boots. If you're volunteering in the building during a program, show students how adults dress for a performance. Regardless of the occasion, always avoid wearing clothing that contains, advertises, or insinuates illegal drugs, alcohol, obscenities, or sex. Avoid using obscene language around or to our students and keep all conversation topics appropriate. Our students may have little ears, but they will hear you, even if you intend to keep a conversation with another adult private. Working with children takes a lot of patience, so be flexible and friendly with our students. Kids will be kids, but they need adults to show them proper public behavior. 
Friendly and gentle reminders work well. Even our big kids need to be reminded to stay with the group or thank the bus driver. Setting a good example for our students by following these guidelines will help grow our students as successful members of the community. Following these rules and guidelines will create a positive volunteering experience for you and our students. If you have any questions at all, please contact us at the administration building at 762-6511. You can also talk with a building principal or classroom teacher. Thank you again for volunteering with Portage Township School.